Hello guys, today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna start working on a new sensor that is HYT-939. Now, to have a better perspective regarding the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor, what we're gonna do is to look over the website that is controlleverything.com and here search for this particular sensor that is HYT-939 and let's see what we got. It's a humidity and temperature sensor with plus minus 1.8 percentage RH plus minus 0.2 degrees celsius of uh, temperature accuracy as you can say and these are some of its more features which are described clearly on the screen now you can also purchase the sensor from here now for this part furthermore i will be interfacing the humidity and temperature sensor at yt 939 with an arduino nano and i will be requiring an arduino code so what i will do is to go to the resource tab and here i will click on the arduino code sample and after that i will be able to download uh, the code as a zip file from here also you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now what we're gonna do is to collect some hardware so that we can make some connections and let's see how it works First of all, uh, in the hardware section, we require uh, our Arduino Nano, which you are able to see on my screen. And this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controleverything.com. And the real reason using this I2C shield uh, in this video is to make connections with other I2C devices, and that connection a lot easier. That's why we use it. And gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield like this. Now we need our sensor that is humidity and temperature sensor HYT939. Now this here is a connecting cable. I make the connection on the cable and the sensor and while making make sure uh, this connection uh, the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. So finally we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently put it over the power jack so that we can have the power for the Arduino Nano and we are done with the connections. Now what do we require is a code so that we can interface. Let's have it. For the interfacing of the sensor what do we require is an Arduino code and to get the Arduino code what we have to do is to log into github.com which is the website and here we have to search for the official repository that is control everything community. Now get over here and here search for the sensor that is HYT939 and what we got is a humidity and temperature sensor and this is the Arduino code. Now let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code and what do we have in the instruction is that we have to download and install Arduino software which is ID on our local machine and this is Arduino.cc link will have a created impact regarding the dependency instructions we need to follow. As you can see you can download the Arduino software and you can use uh, this software on Windows, Mac and Linux. Now. As you can see, all the relevant information is provided on this very link, the site. Please note down carefully and do the installation. Uh, now, what do you require is to have a look over the code. Let's explore it. As you can see, it's a .in extension file. Now, first thing you notice in the code that we have included the header file. That is a y.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor. That is the official address. Uh, it's 0x28. Now, in the void setter function, uh, we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. So in the void loop function, next part which is uh, to send the command, as you can see we are sending the normal mode command which is 0x80, it's a general uh, command as you can see uh, and after that we are reading the data from the register, we are requesting 4 bytes of data which consists of humidity and temperature data. After that we are converting the data into 14 bits which is uh, the official data bits as described clearly in the data sheet and the, here all the conversion takes place right now. Uh, after that at the very end of our code what do we require is to show the output we have received in a formal human readable form and as you can see on the serial monitor uh, which is the relative humidity in percentage RH along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how our code looks like. It's a very generalized and simple code in the Arduino for HYT939. Now what do we need is to show the practicality, the working environment of this code along with the sensor and the Arduino Nano. Let's have it. Now let's have a look over the working which is the practicality of this code and for that the first step is to copy this entire code of Arduino and open up the Arduino here. 
as you can see and in this Arduino we have to paste the entire code and here what do we have to do is to save it and name it uh, which is HYT939 and then verify and compile the code and it's done compiling now verify and upload the code as you can see the code is being uploaded and it might take a while so let's wait up while it's uploading and it's done it's very soon so now what do we require is to have a look over the output on the serial monitor and as you can see we have the relative humidity along with the temperature and in celsius and fahrenheit now when i press my finger over the sensor or blow some air over the sensor you can see a change just like that as you can notice the relative humidity and temperature changes it's increasing now uh, it's going back it's steadily increasing as I remove my finger but when I do that again you can see the change in the relative humidity again along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales yeah just like that so this is how the sensor responds to the Arduino code along with the Arduino Nano now what do you require to have a look over the benefits features and applications for which this is applicable let's have it precisely calibrated the HYT939 delivers an accuracy of plus minus 1.8 percentage RH and plus minus 0.2 degree Celsius. Further features are the integrated signal processing for measuring the physical parameters of relative humidity and temperature, the I2C compatible interface, easy interchangeability without adjustment, as well as mechanical robustness, chemical resistance, tube formation resistance, and long term stability. The areas of applications for this particular sensor are medical systems, autoclaves, pressure dew point measurement, drying system, laboratories and a lot more. Now this sensor can be purchased and is easily available on the website controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Well, I hope you have understood everything and in case of any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and put your comments, show your comments on the community page. For blogs and articles which are relevant to this sensor or video, you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.